Hi Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using dies from Tonic which I got in Peterborough uh, last month. Um, these are the C, not these ones, just these top ones. These are a Tonic die which I've got and I'll be using them. I have already cut it all out. I've got all the bits here that I've cut out already so we'll be using them. I'll also be using the stamp set Night in Bethlehem and I'm just using it for the Sentiments Blessed Christmas Wishes and the this sentiment wishing you a season of joy inside. Um, to make this card you'll need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half burnish which we've already done a piece of black at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths a piece of white at five and a half by three and three quarters mine's a bit squashed and another piece of white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths this is for the inside which I've already stamped so that will go inside and we're going to stamp on here I've already done the sentiment I did it on this but I don't know if I'm going to use it I might just go with a cut out like that so we'll stamp the sentiment first I'm going to put both on and see what I like better. This is a raw sticky. Oh, I know what that's from. I'm making a three foot Christmas tree out of um, paper and card. Let's see if I can get a picture up and show you it. My brother in law's got it at the moment. He's sticking. Um, can you see that tree? He stuck a wooden dowling down right through the middle of it to keep it straight and stable. I've just got to decorate it and I'm cutting out snowflakes to put on it. It's for um, a church in the town my sister lives in. I'm running a Christmas tree festival. And because my sister and I want to run a paper craft group in the town, we decided we'll enter it with paper crafting things, trees and stuff. So um, that's the tree I've made. You never know. It might get judged and told to go away and not come back. <laughs> right, what was I doing? This. Right, for this, we need to mark it. Is this the right one? No. Where's me? Little bit gone. Aha, uh -huh, got it. Right, I just want to mark this the middle. Top and bottom. 
because I'm going to be putting this the stable on there like that and I need to mark it with a pencil just to so I know where to sponge so I don't want sponging in the blue sponging in the inside I want that to be yellow so what I'm going to do is do the yellow first so with so saffron a bit of scrap paper I am going to just sponge yellow or so saffron in between this space So if I go over the edge, I'll just give like a glow on the outside of the, I was going to say shed then, well it is a shed isn't it, stable, that'll do nicely. And then with my night and navy, Make it darker. go on there like that I shall rub out the pencil marks yes I like that so clean that up afterwards All right, and get my rubber. I don't think I'll get these marks off because I've inked on top of them. But you won't see them with the black. Do like this? I've got one of them stoppers from Gainer. I think it's lovely. She sent me a few things in the post, like she always does. Such a generous, caring woman she is. this down like that 
Preferably even, that's it. I think before we go any further and make the card up, we want to stick it, the card together. So I'll stick the inside in while we're here. Right. Now oh, then the sheep or the lambs or whatever you want to call them will be glued flat Pity they didn't put two of these dies in, you know. The other one facing the other way. Mind you, I could have supposed to turned it round. Right. Mary and Joseph are on dimensionals. So is the manger. So let's put Mary down first. And Joseph. And I've also got this star that goes on the top of the barn, stable, or shed as I want to keep calling it. Right, now we're going to punch out some silver stars. I don't want too many, but I don't want to be punching out loads of bits either. So we've got I 
bunch of some small ones. side so just a spot of glue Try and put the stopper in. My eyesight takes forever. Right, that. Where did I put this on the? There it went. So this is too long, obviously. Waste of a star. Let's try this one. Oh no, that's way too long. No. I have this one, but I am going to make it a little bit thinner. I keep forgetting I've got this little, um, trimmer that we got in Peterborough in our lucky dip bag. And we got a lucky dip bag and it was £20 for the bag and what was inside, well, um, well worth it. We got um, this, um, a tote bag, everything Mary, buy everything Mary lovely flower tote bag, a card kit, um, a sewing, you know when they make cards and they use stitching? Well we've got a machine that does that. Um, what else was in it? Oh a stamp set. I haven't got it, it's, I've put it away. Um, Some tonic dyes, not tonic. Um, oh my god, what's the blue and white company called? Tata Lace dyes. I should really get it all out and show you what we got. The trouble is, I've put it all away and it's all in different places. And I need to go looking for it all. Right, that is my card for today. The sky isn't as busy because I haven't put any gems on. I don't want gems on it because I've put the silver stars on it. So what do you think? I think it could do with gems on it actually. Looking in the camera this looks a bit bare. Well, this looks like more stars. 
Let me get my gem box. I need it out anyway for more cards. Let's put some gems on. Good start, put it on upside down and expect it to stick. like that card if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and uh, if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more cards I upload which is usually on Monday Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon